Brother of Parkland shooting suspect Nicholas Cruz is sitting in the same jail in Fort Lauderdale. This comes after a judge set his bond at $500,000 on charges of trespassing at the school where 17 people were killed. CBS 4's Kerry Cott continues our team coverage. He's left the Broward County Jail with new details for us. Kerry. Yes, Elliot. Uh, less than two weeks ago, Governor Rick Scott signed a school safety bill into law. And an important element of that bill is now being used against the brother of confessed school shooter Nicholas Cruz to try to prevent Zachary Cruz from getting his hands on a gun. It's all laid out in this petition for a risk protection order that the Broward Sheriff's Office has shared with us today. And again, they want to keep a gun out of the hands of Zachary Cruz. While Zachary Cruz stood before a criminal court judge on Tuesday on a misdemeanor trespassing charge, the Broward Sheriff's Office was busy filing this petition in civil court trying to prevent Zachary Cruz from getting his hands on a gun. The document lays out more specifics about Zachary's actions on Monday when BSO says he admitted trespassing on the Stoneman Douglas campus, the same school where his brother Nicholas Cruz is accused of carrying out a murderous rampage. In the petition, BSO says Cruz visited the school twice that day and walked around the freshman building. Investigators say Cruz told them he wanted to reflect on the shooting and take it all in. The petition says Cruz admitted he's visited the campus three times since the deadly shooting, but BSO says Cruz has no reason to be on school property, and after being warned that he's not allowed on campus, he's returned multiple times since the shooting. The sheriff's office doesn't want Cruz to get a firearm. Their attorney's right. There's reason to believe Cruz has a mental health illness, is a danger to himself, and that Cruz poses a significant danger of causing personal injury to himself or others by having a firearm or any ammunition in his custody or control, or by potentially purchasing, possessing, or receiving a firearm or any ammunition. The petition says Cruz has shown a pattern of violent and combative behavior over the past six years. Information released by BSO shows at least 23 calls for service to the Cruz home for Nicholas and Zachary Cruz dating back to 2008. The calls for Zachary related to domestic disturbances for hitting things, leaving home and causing trouble for his mother. Zachary Cruz attended Stoneman Douglas High until last November. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office received a 911 call regarding Zachary from a school social worker after his mother passed away late last year. The social worker was concerned that Zachary had stopped coming to school. We're concerned about his welfare, you know, and that things are happening the way they need to for this young man. I mean, he needs to be in school. Now, in the petition filed by BSO, there is no mention that Zachary Cruz intended to carry out any violence at the school or had a weapon on him when he was arrested. Also in the petition, BSO is asking for a judge to prevent or prohibit Zachary Cruz from getting a gun for at least one year. And late this afternoon, there was a filing in court on this case saying that the judge had agreed to issue a temporary um, uh, to, to temporarily grant this protection order and that a hearing would be held at a later date. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Cott, CBS 4 News.